the cycle for the animals on pasture is cows first, chickens come behind it, and then pigs. Cattle are the, the most important animal that we could have on the farm. Cows bring to pasture their fertilizer. You've all seen the big plop. Well, the chickens come behind, or the pigs, and they scratch that plop out so they can take that poo and make it more efficient to put out on the soil, along with the other parts of the cows. I mean, am I supposed to say pee and poo and all that? You cut them Here in Northern California, there used to be green grass all year round. Perennial grasses were overgrazed and they never have a chance to grow. And without the grasses growing, you have less microbial life. And we start damaging the soil to a point where it will eventually become a desert. Perennial grasses needs its hair cut or it grows once. The cattle are critical to doing that. It allows the grasses to put carbon back into the ground. So without some kind of a grass-eating animal, you won't be able to recover what used to be there. The conservation grasslands that are now protected that will end up dying off because nothing's grazing them. If we could utilize those in a managed way that does intensive rotational grazing, we could actually bring back those grasslands. There's enough of those produce enough food in a healthy way to stop growing corn and soy in the Midwest. So we could use all of that land to grow vegetables in an organic way. A lot of people will say that managing this way won't produce enough food to feed the current population and or exports that are required. That's just not true anymore.